Hi, everybody. I don't know. The lighting here is not that good, but um, and I'm just kind of plain janey it. So but I just wanted to get on here and share with everybody. I know it's been a long time since I've done a video. And um, I like I said, I've been getting ready to do um, my knee replacement. I'm uh, a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. But my friend, her and I, she came over the past couple of weeks and we've been just uh, I, I'll show all of you guys. So <laughs> we've been making my living room into like um a high class deluxe holiday season hospital room <laughs> so let me turn this around can i turn this thing around oh i don't, I don't know if i can let's see where i can here i'll just show you so i pull my bed into my living room and so i've got my whole little situation here I got my bed, I got a, a laptop for right here and a, a laptop for right there. And, and then I've got my tree right across from my bed. And so I'll be able to like be here on my bed and look at my tree and be in excruciating pain. And, and <laughs> but I'm gonna be good, it's gonna be good. God is gonna be with me. And um, I have every confidence that God is gonna help me through this. And so, you know, I, her and I, like I said, my friend came over and her and I, we two two big things accessibility and mobility so if i have the mobility to get around to things and i can easily access what i need to then i can make it through and so i'm a person with extreme high tolerance to pain and and uh, i i'm one of those people that can really push myself to you know do what i have to do to survive and so i'm just uh yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. And so, but I wanted to get on here and say, you know, I had set it up. Like I said, I got my little, this is my study chair, my Bible study. Here's my Bible and my Bible study chair. And that's usually where I sit and, and do my videos and stuff. So I could do it potentially, although given this last couple of weeks and how, um, you know, I've just been plugging away and it's taken a lot out of me because I, in the process of doing this whole thing, my friends, Brothers and sisters, <laughs> I blew out my other knee. <laughs> so I'm getting ready to have a knee replacement and I blew out my other knee. And But I've been like babying it a lot, drinking a lot of water, laying down, getting a lot of rest and, um, you know, getting ready for the surgery. And then, like I said, I, I'm trusting God that he's going to be with me the, through this whole time. And um, regardless of all the, you know, outward circumstances that I'm dealing with and, and still certain situations that I'm, you know, uh, forever constantly in the background but nevertheless god has been faithful and he's gotten me through and he has helped me um like tremendously and so i'm i'm just so very grateful to the lord for being with me and um you know putting up with me and helping me through and um you know and getting getting the whole house ready and getting everything set up and so you know i my cat and i <laughs> Every now and then we kind of get tired of each other's company. So it's good to have two rooms so that, you know, we can go into the other room when we don't want to be around each other. And so, you know, I still set up the back room for her and, and so she can still run around and play. And uh, I can just do it uh, easier from where I'm at. <laughs> so she does all the running and I, and I just play with her. So anyway, I just wanted to get on here and say I'm really sorry, everybody, for not being able to stay up with the videos and not being able to really engage in, um, you know, I feel like God has laid a calling on my life and put a ministry before me and, you know, slowly, but surely it's become more and more of a vision. And, um, you know, I had the vision years ago and, uh, just kind of dropped the ball on it. I had a lot of stuff that God needed to, a lot of dross, a lot of dross he needed to burn off. And, uh, and so here we are and, uh, you know, getting ready to go through some, some, trials and testings and i'm just hoping that i pass the test and pray my way through and so but anyway i got my kitchen all set up and i've got like i've got one of those office rolly chairs you know and so i figured the whole floor is linoleum to, from the bathroom to the kitchen and so i'm just gonna roll on the rolly chair everywhere and just gonna walk my walker to the rolly chair and roll everywhere i need to go and roll back to the walker and ta-da it's going to be, uh, it'll be doable. It'll be um, functionable and doable and I will make it through. And so how I'm going to do with the videos through this next, uh, because they say it's six to eight weeks of recovery time. And um, so, I mean, I'm looking at a good possible two months of just being down. And so how I'm going to do through that, I'm not really sure, but bear with me, you guys, um, you know, 
bear with me. I'm, uh, God is, he's rebuilding me and it's going to take a minute. And so let's all just give God a, a minute. <laughs> but I, you know, I'm going to do my very best to continue to get on and check in with everybody and give everybody updates on how I'm doing and how well I'm, I'm progressing forward. And, uh, so, but I'm really, um, I'm really grateful to just have set up this whole room and have it, uh, just so cozy and so holiday seasoned and, um, you know, it's, um, it's going to be good. It's going to be really good. And so, yeah, I just wanted to catch everybody up to date and I hope everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving. I am having a, a pork roast and a, uh, beef roast and uh you know I started this tradition of a beef roast some time ago with my daughter and it was just like such a hit and uh it's just now it's become a, a tradition for me you know I, I don't I just don't think I could have Thanksgiving with turkey or ham ever again it's just you know I like having if I do ha do a pork it's going to be a pork roast and and so I'm you know and uh a pot roast. And so pot roast is the thing in my home and <laughs> we have pot roast for Thanksgiving. And so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm like doing all my pre-cooking, even though it's just me, I'm going to spend my entire day tomorrow and for the rest of the weekend, just down and resting before the surgery. And, and so today's going to be my last prep. I'm going to finish up the last of the house today and then, uh, you know, go from there. And so I will touch base with you guys as soon as I get home from the hospital and I'm feeling up for a video, which hopefully will be, um, shortly, you know, I, I'm, I'm still going through therapy. So, you know, I'm having, uh, <laughs> having a therapy visit right after my surgery. So, you know, it's going to be, my therapist is really walking through through this whole journey with me. And, uh, you know, I'm really grateful, you know, when you've gone through a lot of trauma and issues in life. And the Lord is the number one therapist that there ever was in the best position that, you know, can be, but he does bring people into our life to help us along the way. And, um, and so I've got this, uh, really wonderful therapist that I've been working with for uh, shoot. We've been working with each other for a while now and made a, a lot of progress and, and, and really, um, she's helped me to build up some amazing coping tools and, uh, you know, just, move forward in life and have a lot of healing through the Lord. You know, she's just been a wonderful, um, not just a therapist, but a friend. And so I have people from the medical community that are um, stepping up and helping me through this as well. And I'm just, uh, I'm just ever so grateful. I have so much to be thankful for. And I've just been today counting all the blessings. And I am like, um, you know, as much as I've gone through in life and, and all the mistakes and, and, and I have made a lot. I've made, I can tell everybody what not to do. These are the things not to do. <laughs> but I can also tell you like when you're in the pit, um, the steps that God gave me to get out and, and not just one pit, I've been in many pits and, um, and God has reached his strong arm into many, many pits and pulled me out and given me tools and steps and, and abilities and, um, built me up and, and, you know, grown me up. And so it's just been, a it's a, one of those journeys, you know, that, uh, it's worth the walk and as much suffering as we are called to do as Christians as well, there is blessings in it that is just, um, you don't get when you're uh, in the world. You just don't get that kind of uh, blessing. When you are in the world, this is really all it dishes out is a lot of drama and and desolation and and you know trauma. And but uh, walking with the Lord is a whole nother ball game. And so I'm really grateful that uh, God has brought me back home and that I've been walking strong with him for uh, a minute now. And so um, I'm really just I have so many things to be grateful for. So I was just encouraging us all to, you know, take a minute to not just enjoy our family, not to just, uh, you know, enjoy the season and all the food and whatnot, but to really just take a minute to step back and, you know, tell the Lord just how grateful we are and on all the blessings that he's given us and all the things that we are, um, you know, just so so thankful for and uh, and take a minute to really count our blessings and and ponder them and know that uh, God is able and 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 you know and he'll always meet our needs always and so with that I hope you guys are really blessed um I'll see you guys when I get home from the surgery I'm I have surgery um, Monday so I will see you guys some sometime next week all right bye bye.